Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is packed of goodness, guys. I'm gonna be doing a week testing on the color candles that I uh, showed you a few days ago. I'm gonna be doing a review of my pesto pot that I got from Soy Light. I'm also gonna be uh, doing an unboxing from 1617. They have beautiful vessels. And I'm gonna be uh, testing a few candles using Nature uh, Gardens uh, fragrance oil. So if you wanna see how I accomplish all this goodness for you, keep on watching, yes! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a few days that I haven't posted a video, guys. Uh, today's video is gonna be kind of like a, in three different parts. Uh, so it's just gonna be a little bit of everything. Uh, uh, to begin with, I'm gonna be testing some wigs on my uh, on the color candles that I made the other day. So for that, I went to Jeff Stanley's uh, uh, books that he published uh, and I got some information about the, uh, the different wigs and what uh, what's the meaning of the different wigs, what do they have in common, uh, which is the uh, the best we use uh, depending on which wax. So I'm just gonna cover all that information uh, with you guys. Uh, okay, so then on on the next topic, I just wanna show you guys the thing that I just got on the mail. Ta-da! Yeah! So I got this one, I just got it two days ago and I'm dying to break it in. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, how to, uh, the best and the cleanest way to use this uh, pot because I don't have anything, uh, I don't have like a counter uh, in my room uh, where I can put it, you know? So I'm just figuring it out, you know, where's, uh, where's my best uh, place to put it. So anyway, so I'll think, we'll figure that out as we go. Okay, and I'm also gonna test, uh, I just got, I'm trying different uh, candle suppliers to find uh, which uh, fragrance oils uh, give me the best uh, HD because so, so far, you know, I've been kind of disappointed in uh, the ones that, I, that I've been testing. So I'm gonna uh, show you guys uh, the few fragrance oils that I got for Nature's Garden. And um, so I'm gonna be making a candle and testing a few of them, okay guys? So, okay, so let's get everything ready and let's get this video started. Okay. Yes! Okay guys, so we're gonna be testing wigs on this. Remember that I did the color candles, the beautiful color candles that I didn't put any wigs? I did it just uh, for this purpose. So we are testing different wigs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be, I, I went to Candle Science and they recommend Eco 4 or Eco 8. So that's what we're gonna do. But I, I figured, you know what? Let me just make it kind of more uh, interesting, you know? So I'm, I'm gonna see what kind of wigs I have in here. And I'm just gonna go in, just, I'm gonna pick a random wig and see what, uh, how the candle react? I have a CD12 in here. Anything about the CD line? Let's see. Okay, let me, let, let's read in here. Oh, uh, this is what um, Jeff Stanley had to say. HTP weeks. Do I have any of those in here? Let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, an Eco 8, which I think I have a piece somewhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of Eco 8 to do the test. Not too much. I'm just gonna do like this. This much. Okay, so let me just label it first because on the blue candle that's gonna be my Eco 8. Okay, and for this I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna poke a hole in the middle of the, the candle. Again, this is soy wax, so it's very it's very uh, smooth. You just make a hole in there, right there in the middle. Perfect. Yes. And then just stick it in uh, for our for weak test. You don't need to have longer than this. This is perfect. Move the hole. Okay, and if you think it's too long, just go ahead and trim it. And you trim it to a quarter of an inch, just like that. So this one is the, the Eco A, so how it marked in here, so we know. Okay, the next one, let's do an HTP. So let's see, uh, HTPs are a curlless braided wicks that are designed to curl the tip when burning. This opens uh, the wick a little more to allow for a hotter burn. HTP wicks usually have less carbon buildup or less mushrooming, as well as a less smoke. Okay, good. Uh, HTP wicks are used with uh, votives, uh, pillars, and container candles. Uh, HTP wicks are primed with high melt point of uh, wax of 2012 Fahrenheit, okay? So let's pick a, a, an HTP wick. I think I only have HTP 104 and HTP 105. I'm gonna pick HTP 104 because it's the smaller ones that I have and let's see what happens. And again, I'm just gonna cut a little piece because you don't need too much. So let me make a hole in the red candle. Again, because it is soy wax, it's very, it's very smooth. And if it's too long, just go ahead and trim it. Okay, the next one. 
I have a uh, I have a CD. Well, this CD looks kind of big. So let's read what the uh, the CDs are good for. CD wigs are flat braided cotton wig with a paper filament wrapped around them. This is to provide a consistent burn while maintaining a solid straight flame. CD wigs are great for hard to burn waxes like some paraffins and vegetable waxes. Okay, so this is, I don't think this is gonna be good for uh, soy, but we'll see. Okay, so let's see, do I have any LX? I don't think I have any LX uh, wigs, guys, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try doing the, uh, so let's try it with the CD, guys. Uh, let's see if I can find something smaller than this. CD 16. CD 20. Uh, let's try doing a CD 12, which is the smallest one. Again, this is like a very narrow, so I don't think I need uh, such a big uh, wig. Again, I'm I'm taking a guess, guys. I'm just playing here. I'm just trying to test and see uh, whether or not my intuition is good or, not, or bad. Okay, so again, I'm just... So I'm gonna try a CD 12 and I'm gonna try the CD 16 to see what's the difference because I don't have any other kind. Or maybe I could try a wooden wig. Yeah, let's try a wooden wig better. So this one, E12. Let's try a wooden wig for the last one, just for the hell of it. Okay, so the 12 is gonna go into this one here. Okay, I'm gonna take the, the skewer. I tried using uh, with, uh, wooden wigs on some of the candles and at the beginning they look so beautiful, you know, and I tried to put them, uh, light them up, but then they just died, died on me. I don't know why, you know. I guess it all depends on the kind of wax. It's a good idea, guys, that you trim these wigs. That for the for these wooden wigs, uh, they recommend to use the uh, 0 0.02. So I'm gonna try using a 0 0.02 for that, for this, for this size. And I'm gonna use the crackling wig, 0 0.02. Uh, I think I have a piece in here. Okay, so this is a 0 0.02 booster. So I'm gonna use this. So this I'm gonna be using in here. Again, because it, this is very soft. So this is wooden wig. Crackling booster and that that size is 0.375. I know because I've used that before, you know the candle, so let's see how this works out. But again, I use it in, in different waxes, so I don't know how it's gonna react in this C3 soy wax. Okay, so let's put this in the grill, guys, and let's start the burning test. Yes! Yes! Okay, let me get the the lighter and let's start this up. Here we go, CD12. They're my first testing candles of the day. You see, the wooden wick sometimes tends to do that, you know? It's it's very temperamental. So I guess uh, the wooden wick doesn't want to uh, cooperate. Okay, so now it's catching up. Okay, guys, so let's see how this... Uh, okay, right now it's 10.45. So let me just put the timer here. It's 10.45 in the morning. Let me just mark it in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna prep uh, the room. Uh, I'm gonna see where I'm gonna put the, uh, the press pot. So I'll be right back, okay? Yes! Uh, let me show you the, the new oils that I have. Okay, so what I wanna, I just wanna see, uh, I just wanna try something different. Okay, so the first one that I have is a rosemary mint type. And I'm trying to copy a candle. I don't like this. It smells like uh, eucalyptus. It doesn't smell like um, rosemary to me. I don't know. Guys, if you know anything about this, uh, have you guys tried this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, does it smell better once it's in a candle? Because some fragrance oils are like that. Uh, but I just, it doesn't smell like, to me it smells like uh, eucalyptus. You know, I'm trying to copy this candle. Let me show it to you. I'm trying to copy this uh, Ergo candle that I bought it from Amazon and my friend, she loves this candle and she buys it all the time. So this is what she, this is the, the brand, Ergo. And this is out of this world. This smells like, it's supposed to be rosemary mint and it smells divine. And it's gonna have to be another project. So, because I really wanna make, uh, and I love this, this vessel. Okay, so let's continue guys. So, the other scent that I have from uh, Nature Garden is uh, Nantucket Garden and guys, this one is really, this one is beautiful, I have to say. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna make a candle out of this. So I'm gonna make a candle, uh, let me see how much is the, the maximum that you can put, 10%. It doesn't say in here. I'm gonna use this for one candle. 
and I took a garden. Let's see what else I have. Aphrodisiac, I made another candle for this, and guys, it's unbelievable. No, 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 I didn't use this one. I used the other one. I used the uh, passion, this one. Oh my God. The candle that I make with this, guys. Oh my goodness. Let me show it to you. So this is the candle that I did. Uh, uh, this one I did with a C3 wax. And oh my God, this smells like passion for sure. But you see, uh, it has frosting. It has frosting on the top. I mean, much less than, C much less than uh, 464 but it does has uh, frosting, so that's what turned me off. But look how beautiful the top. I mean, I fixed it with a, with a, with a heat gun, but I mean, I'm very happy with this. And the, and the CT is very nice. So let me just keep this on the side. So I'm not gonna use passion because I already used it. And then this one is white gardenia. And I think I'm gonna do one candle of this one. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do some other gardenia with the rosemary. Okay, you know what guys, let me do it. Let me just take a, a tester and let's compare the two of them together side by side. Because you know, it's a perfume. Once it dries, it has a different uh, smell, fragrance. It does smell like rosemary to me. Let me just, here we go. I don't think it goes together. I think the, the rosemary mean it's, it's too overpowering guys. Yeah, it's too strong. If I were to make this rosemary, uh, it would have to be by itself because it's so overpowering. So let me just put it back in the box. So I may do a candle out of that in another occasion. So, but I wanna um, keep the gardenia and I'm gonna try be doing the Nantucket garden and see how that mixes together. Let me just get another tester. I'm telling you guys, this is my favorite part of making candles is this. You know, it's testing fragrances. I love testing wigs too, you know, it's, it's so much fun, so you know, it's the only way, guys, that you're gonna be able to find out what works for you and what doesn't. Okay, so here we go. This is a socket garden, and this is a gardenia. Oh. It's so beautiful. It takes me to a beautiful place. Let's see the two of them together. Oh my God, this is really nice. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, to me they're not, they're smelling the same. It's just that they're so overpowering. Uh, this fragrance, these are very concentrated, guys. It's true what they say. It's not like, it's not like the other ones. This one is really, really, really. So if I were to do this, I would not go 10%. I would go uh, at least, uh, I, I will, I'll do 8% on this. And they're so overpowering. Uh, if I were to do the, uh, the gardenia, I will do two parts gardenia, one part, uh, and then talk a garden because it's, wow. It's a hard decision, guys, because now I have not, you know what, it's, the two, the two of them are so beautiful uh, that it's very hard for me to really pick the, the note from the gardenia, that you have to, you have to be either one or the other one. Uh, this fragrance, fragrance oils are just, I don't think they're good for mixing. Uh, they're good by themselves. They're not uh, good for mixing. That's, and that is my conclusion, guys. So I'm gonna do uh, Nantucket Garden and White Gardenia. Okay, so let's start making the candles. Yes, let me get, uh, let me just start getting everything ready. And I wanna, I wanna use, I wanna use a new vessel that I got from uh, 1617. Guys, you have to go check that out. Uh, 1617, uh, they have the most beautiful uh, vessels containers and um, high end to the max. Let me just, I'm gonna bring it to you. Ta-da! This is the, uh, the Tuscany uh, collection. Look at how beautiful they look, the high end, like uh, the glass. It's beautiful and it's painted in the inside. So when you look at the glass, guys, you see like the translucency um, of the clear glass and it has a beautiful, silver uh, metallic uh, painting in the, in, at the rim. Look at how beautiful it looks. It looks very expensive, very, very chic. So these are the two, the two vessels that I'm gonna be using for my candles. And uh, so, come on by, come on by guys. Let me show you the fragrance oils that I, that I was using. And I'm gonna be pick, oh, how delivery. Okay guys, so we have a very pleasant surprise. I got a delivery from 1617. 
So let me show it to you. Ta ta! Big box. So let's open it together. A note from Vanessa. Thank you, Michael. Yes, Vanessa, thank you. So we got, this is gonna be, let's see, uh, we have different, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the, the frosted glass. And I have one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, four different kinds. And I also have coconut pearl, uh, pearl wall mix. Okay, guys, so here we go. We have lots of peanuts. I found out about the, uh, you know, guys, do you know that these peanuts, they dissolve in water? Ta -da! So this is gonna be, this video is gonna be uh, also an unboxing for 1617. I'm gonna link all these things very, uh, all the, uh, on the website below. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, look how beautiful the color. And look how beautiful the lid. Wow. Very expensive. I, I believe this is bamboo. But look how beautiful this is. Wow. Very nice high-end glass. Beautiful frosted. Oh my god, you're gonna love this guy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do one candle. Two candles with this. Okay, so it comes with a uh, uh, six of these. I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna take one out from each color, but the rest I'm gonna leave in here. And uh, you know what, guys? Um, I'm gonna be saving these boxes from now on because this is the best way uh, to cure your candles is by using the, uh, the boxes that came in, in the containers. Beautiful lid, very nice and solid lid, you know. Um, beautiful finish. Definitely a must have. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one also outside. Look how what a, what a beautiful uh, mint green this is. Beautiful. And I'm telling you, these lids are amazing. They are very uh, detailed. Look at the, at the rim of the lid and it has like a silicone uh, ceiling here. So it seals the, uh, the air, the candle. Beautiful. Great. How chic! Sophisticated, baby. Yes, and the lid. Look at how beautiful it looks. Again, the frosting. Perfection. Very easy to put the wick, uh, uh, the wick because it's flat. So, beautiful. Again, it looks very sophisticated. So yeah, so I got these four colors. I think it comes in, in, in more colors, I'm not sure. Uh, Again, check to at the website, guys, so you can check it out. This is what I call beautiful. Look at this. You see how nice? It, guys, it pays for you to pay a little bit extra. But you know what, guys? When you get good customer service and when you get professional products like this, uh, you get you get what you pay for, darling. So it comes in here in, in a bag. This is five pounds. I'm gonna skip this because I wanna. I want to plan a nice candle using this on a later date. I'm not going to put it back in this box because it takes a lot of room. So let me just take this and just... And this box is going to be great for me to cure candles. Always think about stuff that you can use, you know, and don't, don't just throw away this stuff. Just find a way to recycle this. So which color should I, should I make? Uh, first, let me measure this and get the water weight. Okay, so you measure three inches diameter. The water weight is... Okay, nine ounces each. It gives me the perfect amount. I'm gonna use the, uh, the C3. Uh, I just wanna finish using that. So, that's what I'm gonna use, C3 wax. Okay guys, so I have all the numbers and I'm gonna be doing three candles and I'm gonna be using three vessels. Because why not? So I'm gonna be doing a uh, Nantucket Garden candle, a uh, uh, Wagardinia, a Prodisiac. Why not? So let's see what color vessels I'm gonna use. So I think, let's see what color guys. I think I wanna do the Wagardinia in the white container. Nantucket Garden I wanna do in the uh, in the main container and aphrodisiac I'm gonna use in the black container. Okay? 
So guys, it's, it's been an hour uh, that I'm doing the uh, the wig test, and you know what, guys? They all look the same to me. So I'm that. I think I made the uh, I hit the jackpot. Okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, remember always when you get new containers, always clean them with alcohol. It's better to be safe than sorry, and then it also will ensure the addition of uh, at the wick, uh, at the bottom of the of the vessel. Okay, guys. So the website says, "Come to science." I could use either, I could use either CD twenty two or Eco fourteen. So I'm gonna be using both of them. Yeah, always when you clean your vessels, make sure that it's dry completely, because the last thing you want is moisture inside your wax. Perfect. Look, it doesn't move or anything. So this is the best kind of holder you could ever get. I'm gonna get many more from here. Okay, now. The moment of truth, guys, is where am I gonna put this pot? So I have the pot in here, and I'm using a box, a cardboard box, guys, because you have to have something in the floor to protect it when you pour in the wax, because this is gonna go off the, off the ledge from the table in here, in the floor to protect it, you know? it's I don't want to have wax in my floor. And you need to have your, uh, your plug nearby, Okay. And again, I'm gonna use C3. I'm not gonna mix it with coconut because that's, those are two different uh, monsters. I just wanna finish this, this wax. So guys, now is it the moment of truth. It's the moment to fire up the, the presto pot. Hopefully I won't have any leaks. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put it at 200. And here goes the wax. Yes! Come on, pot! And I'm gonna take the thermometer that I have in here. Okay, now I need to bring my scale because I'm gonna put it right here. Before we do that, I need to make uh, the three different uh, oils. Okay, so let's go. Let's go measure the oils. So this measures 8.5. 8. So 8.5 plus 7.2, 15.7. I'm gonna pour. Fifteen point seven. This is too much. Fifteen point six. A tiny bit more. Okay, fifteen point eight. That's good enough for me. So let me just put the the first candle. It's gonna be my gardenia. One seventy two, and I'm gonna pour one thirty five, so that should be fine. I'm gonna pour one thirty five, guys. So this you have to be very fast. No time for fooling around. Bring this lower because it's like one forty nine. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be Nature's Garden. Still one forty nine. So while this cools down, I'm gonna uh, do the other one. So the container is 9.2, 9.2, so 7.2, so it's gonna be 4, 16, so 1, so 1 1.4. I don't know whether this is 1.4 or 1.04. But you know what, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put the fragrance oil, guys. I mix it and fill up the candle, and if it's not, if it's not, if it's not enough, I'll just put some more. Hold on to this one too, until it cools down. That's the one thing that's gonna throw me off. I'm gonna have to do this in grams and not in ounces because it's it's too complicated for me to figure it out. Okay, so let's see how much, how cool this one is. 134, perfect. Perfect amount. Let me just clean this. Otherwise it's gonna be a pain. But, uh, I'm so glad that I put the box in the floor because I have a droplet of wax in the on the box already. Okay, so let me do the, the last one in here. And if I have a lot of leftover, I know that that belongs to that one. Let's see. You see guys, that's why I'm so happy that I bought another one, more of this. So this is like, it, the timing is crucial for this. If you make a mistake, you know, you make a mistake. So make sure you don't confuse the, uh, the vessel. This one is number three, that one is number two. And I have to remember not to fill this too much because I need to have space for the tops. So hopefully I didn't I didn't feel this too much to the top. Okay, I don't wanna feel it to the top and I'm just gonna keep the space with the lid. 
from 51. Wow. Hopefully, if I get to make nice candles out of this, that I'll be able to uh, ship my friends for so they can give me the, their honest opinion, you know, it, that would be great. Uh, I would love to send a couple to my friend Lisa in North Carolina. And she'll, she'll tell me, you know, what is good, to, what, what do I need to change, you know, and is the fragrance cheap smelling. So, you know, that's, I need someone that gives me. You no, know, it's like me. If somebody asks me their honest op my opinion, I will tell them the truth. And I tell them, you know what? I don't believe in people being a uh, hypocrite and just to make you feel good, just tell you a lie. I said, no, because at the end of the day, it's your candle. But that, you know what? That to me is not a friend. A friend is someone that really cares about your business and really tells you the, uh, the truth. And guys, make sure that you adjust in the weeks to make sure that the perfect is centered. It's 145, but I'm just gonna pour. I'm so happy that I bought a couple of these. I have, uh, you have another one of these? Yes, I have three of these for this purpose when you have different candles. And now that I have the pot, the Presto pot, which I'm so happy. So let me just wipe the the wax out of the, the Presto Pop. And I'm just gonna uh, wipe it, I'm not gonna uh, rinse it or anything. Yes! It's a must get. Must have. Ask Santa for one or two. I can't really tell now that, you know, the people that have uh, big businesses doing candles, now I see why they need one because it's, it's so convenient. It's, it, it's like a, it's a half, half the time. More than half the time that you say. Oh, and my testers are doing really well too. Okay guys, so let's go back to the, the board in here and let's make an assessment of what we've done so far. So today guys, so we did the, uh, I was testing the wigs on the, color, on the color candles. So let's go and take a look at them now. Okay guys, so we're back in here. So let's look at the, the, at the, at the wigs that we're testing on these uh, color candles. So let's see. I'm gonna change the lens and I'm gonna get closer. Okay, so let's see the first one, uh, the Eco 8. Let's see how the pool is doing. It's, it's been two hours. So the melt pool is not there yet. Uh, the HTP 104, uh, it's almost there. I like the flame. Uh, the, the flame from the Eco 8 is lower. Uh, the HTP 104 is more, uh, I would say it's mushrooming and it's more, it's bigger. Uh, the CD12, CD12 is not bad. Let's see how the, the wick is doing. It's mushrooming too. So, but I don't see any uh, black suit or anything like that coming out of the candles. Uh, the HT104, the one on the red candle is very vibrant. I think I will, uh, I wouldn't use that one. You want a more uh, softer, uh, softer, uh, a smaller, a smaller flame, especially when it gets uh, lower to the inside the jar. I think that's uh, too big of a of a wig for that. Uh, CD12, I think, I don't know about CD12, but I think uh, the flame is also too big and I'm not happy about the mushrooming on that one. Uh, the wooden wig is, it's, it's doing its job, but I don't like the flame, really. I think it looks too low. I mean, some people may like it, but I'm not, I mean, it looks like it's gonna uh, go out in any minute now. So I'm not happy about this. So overall guys, I really, I will go with the Echo 8 in here. I'm pretty sure in, after three hours, uh, I will have a full melt, uh, melt pool. So I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, so this is the mark uh, after two hours. There you go guys. It's the update of the, the week testing. What a better way than doing like that, so I can you can see if, uh, close. So Eco Eight is the one that I'm really, yeah, because you have to think about it uh, as the candle burns inside the vessel. You know, it's uh, it's uh, the mushrooming and, and the flame is gonna get bigger because it, it needs more uh, oxygen to burn the uh, the fuel. So as the candle needs more oxygen to burn the fuel, uh, therefore the the flame is gonna get bigger and making the the side of the of the vessel very hot and that could be uh, a hazard that could cause a fire you know if the glass is not strong enough it could break and it could make uh it could be very bad news so that's why also guys uh when you make candles and you can sell uh, make sure that you buy vessels from a from a candle supply company and in case something happens and always 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 guys get get, get insurance because you never know uh, the people who buy the candles 
uh, they're always gonna burn the candle wrong, the wrong way. What if they forget about the candle and then you go to sleep and they wake up at four in the morning with a fire in the house? Of course they're not gonna admit uh, that they left the candle on. They're gonna blame you, telling, telling the, the police or the insurance company that you get them a, a faulty candle. So that's why it's better uh, for you to have insurance just to uh, avoid those kind of uh, bad news. Okay guys, so let's come back in a couple of hours and I'm gonna show you how the, how the candles are doing um, at the color bar. So I'll see you back. Here are the candles that I did using Nature's Garden uh, fragrance oil. Uh, I have to say guys, uh, they're looking really good. I see a sinkhole happening on this candle here. You see in the back? You see right over there? And in this one, I think there's another one happening. A tiny bit one. No big deal, I can always fix that with a, with a heat gun. Okay, and this one is looking good. Guys, I have to say I'm very impressed um, with the way these candles are coming along. I love the color. Uh, the CT is amazing in all of them. But again, uh, these need to be cured. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna leave them here, guys. So I just wanted to make these candles on these beautiful vessels from 1617. Guys, uh, I'm very impressed uh, with this, the, the quality of the glass. It looks beautiful. Again, this is the black one, this is the mint green, and this is the clear one. Okay, so if you want to order them, I'm gonna put all the information below on in the description box so you can just um, go there and just get uh, these beautiful vessels, okay? So, and let's go now and let's look at the at the candles. Okay, so let's take a look at them. The first one is Eco 8. I think it, uh, it's been uh, three hours now. Eco 8 is giving me tunneling. So definitely um, this one is not gonna work for me. Uh, HTP 104 is looking good. I see a little bit of mushrooming, but I think that's uh, typical of the HTP. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't see any, any soot or any black smoke coming coming from, from there. So I'm happy with that. Uh, the same with CD12. CD12 is giving me a great flame. Uh, I don't see any soot. I don't see any uh, black smoke coming out of that. So I'm happy with that. Uh, the wooden wick, uh, again, it's almost has formed the, uh, the full melt pool. Uh, personally, I don't like the flame, uh, but for people that like that kind of flame, uh, it's not good for them. Uh, I, I would personally not make a candle using these kind of wigs because it's a hit or miss. Uh, these kind of wigs are very temperamental, guys. Uh, so, you know, I just rather avoid uh, any uh, any unhappy customers, okay? So, again, I will go up with these two, HCP 104 or CD12. I think they look great. I, I think they have, uh, have full, almost fully male pool in there. You know, I think I'm very happy with the with the amount of wax I have formed. It's been three hours again. So Eco 8, no. These two, HTP 104 and CD12, yes. And the crackling uh, wooden wig, uh, maybe. But it's up to you. Okay, guys, so this concludes the test. This testing for uh, for the color, different colors that I make, custom colors. And so, yeah. Take into consideration, guys, that whenever you test a candle, uh, it all depends on, on a few factors, okay? Uh, the wax that you use, uh, the color dye, you're using a color dye, and the fragrance that you use. So that may affect also uh, the weak uh, performance, okay? So it's better for you to do a testing. Uh, whenever you're gonna try a new candle to, to put in your repertoire and see uh, which options give you the best results. Okay guys, so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the, uh, the final candle, the final product. Look at the beautiful glass. Again, these, these are uh, containers from um, 1617.com. I'm gonna link the, uh, the website below. Uh, they're very high-end, they're beautiful. Uh, so I tested the, um, on the black, on the black glass, I used uh, the uh, oil from Nature's Garden uh, Aphrodisiac. And let me just show you the container. Look how beautiful it is. So let's see if we get uh, any uh, imperfections. I see a little bit in here of, uh, of a white spot. Can you see it in there? So yes. Again, we are using C3 wax. Let me see the top. The top, I can see a little bit of a sinkhole in there. You see the reflection. So yeah, so I just wanna, I just wanna show you guys the results 
of for the candles. Okay, on this one I'm using Nantucket Garden uh, fragrance oil again for Nature's Garden. Um, let's see, we have any imperfections in here? This one looks fine, but again I'll have a little bit of a sinkhole. You see, but otherwise you know that this doesn't really bother me because that's uh, with the heat going that you know that can get fixed right away. Okay, in this one, I have a white, white gardenia from Nature's Garden also, the oil. Uh, do we have any... Well, we have something going on in here. You see uh, in the glass in here, you see? It's like a separation of the wax. That's the only thing. And I see a couple of uh, wet spots. A little bit of uh, snow, uh, like bumpiness on top. But again, that's something that you can fix the, uh, with the heat gun. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can fix all this. With the heat gone, so that doesn't really bother me that much, guys. I just want to show you the tops from this from these vessels. I mean, this is like bamboo. This is very high end, uh, guys. The finish in here, you can sell this for a lot of money. And then, make make sure that you leave a lot of room uh, from the wax, so you can fit the lid, okay? And then this airtight seal, look beautiful. So I'm gonna cure them like this with the lid on for a couple of weeks. So when I come back from Hawaii, um, I can see how they're looking, and also I'm I'm dying, very curious to, to see how the HT on this um, can just work out. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. I'm I'm just gonna uh, tell you guys I, I wanna thank all my new subscribers. You know, and send me ideas or suggestions or, or comments on uh, videos that you want me to make for you guys. Again, this is the best um, wick holder. This is from the from IKEA. This is what they use to uh, to seal bags. Anyway, just okay, guys. So take care of yourself and each other, and also don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael. All the details are below in the description box. But remember, you have to start watching that channels from the beginning. Okay. Okay guys, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.